Thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're here, I'm gonna show you how I made my version of Tera Hone Laga Hu. Who are you to be made of me? Which on Spotify has 25,000 streams in less than a month, which is crazy. And thank you so much to anyone who's listened. It means so much. Okay, so when I first start making a piece like this one, I'm usually on the piano or guitar first because I'm really fluent in those instruments. So I use that to kind of like make ideas of how you can organize a piece. Right? So that's how I started, but the thing is like a lot of my songs are acoustic in terms of it's just heavily piano or heavily guitar and I wanted to make it different. So the piano is actually in the background. So let me take you into the studio so you can see the other instruments that I used. So here's a project of uh, the song. And as you can see, the first instrument I have right here is piano. The other instruments I have here are the 808 drum kit that I use for percussion. This is the sub bass. This is acoustic harmonics, which is interesting. I'll show you that. Um, this is, I, I called it steamy guitar. Okay. I called it steamy guitar for whatever reason. Then you got a harp, and then you got my voice. So let's go one by one, I'll show you exactly what I did with each one. So the first thing I recorded was piano, as I said, and here's the piano part for that section. <laughs> So now if we listen to the piano with just the voice, it sounds like this. I don't know about you, but that sounded empty to me almost, that there's the vocal and piano, but there's still missing space in the song. So I wanted to add a very simple heartbeat, like drum beat. I don't know if you can hear it properly, I think you can. It's t t t t t t t. The ending trail is actually something called delay. And without delay, the beat sounds actually kind of boring, which is why I added it. So without it sounds like this. And with the vocal, <laughs> Right, it sounds, it's still like there's something missing. So I added this flutter effect on the, what's it called, drums. So it fills it up. So now it sounds like this. So much more complete. The next instrument that I have on my list is bass. Okay, so so far we have piano, we have the drums, we have bass, and we have the voice. So together, they sound like this. Right, it sounds pretty soothing in my opinion. The next thing we're going to do is interesting sound. It's called acoustic harmonics, which is if you play guitar or if you play any string instrument, there's this high, reson high resonant frequency that comes above the note, uh, which are called harmonics. So it sounded like this. I wanted to just add a little bit of shine and texture into the song. So that part sounds like this. Right? So it's a beautiful little texture. Let me just take the camera here so you can see what's going on. So together, everything sounds like this. So 
So it'll be too long of a video if I explain the whole song, but basically the way I did it for this section is the exact way I do it for the whole song. You know, it's it's like it's like a strategy of layering sounds and then taking off what I don't need and then I ended up with this. It sounds really simple, but it's also powerful at the same time. There's still a couple more instruments that are used in the later chorus of the song, um, but it's the same principle. You know, you're just adding things that would accent the song. Uh, so now what I want to do to finish off the video, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna play the finished section of this and a little more into the chorus and I really hope you like it. <laughs> Why do I say that I'm not a man?